guys, it's Tanya here. We're gonna make dinner tonight, so we are trying some new segments on this channel. Oh, stand up, you gotta stand up so I can see you. So we are trying some new things on this channel because I don't, hello, hello. No. because I don't give it enough attention. Hello. So we are actually going to Please. make dinner Please. for you guys today. What are we making, Paxton? We got sausages. Can you say sausage? Are you gonna show them the sausage? We have to wash your hands again. Yeah, help, that's sausage. These are cheddar sausages. These are natural and organic. They're from a local farm here in BC. But you can get any sausages that you like. If you like brat, horse, those work. If you like cheddar, those work. And then in here, what do we have? Bakey. 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 What do we do with the bakey? Bakey. Do we eat it? Uh huh. Uh huh. We like bacon. So we're gonna take this again. It's also um, natural and organic, just from a local BC farm. Bacon, and we are going to show you guys how I make my almost famous now because I put them on Instagram and on Facebook, and they've gotten a crap ton of likes. But I basically make bacon wrapped sausages, and everyone seems to be going crazy for these. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make them. You'll need some form of sausages. These are just local um, organic sausages. The sausages are two grams of carb per sausage. So I can have two of these for dinner with bacon and not have any worries about how many carbs I'm intaking. The next thing you're gonna need is some bacon and there's a lot of bacon in here. You won't need this much, but you do need some bacon and this is just organic bacon from a local farm, but you can use any kind of bacon. If you are not on a low carb diet like me, then maple bacon is delicious because it adds a really nice maple flavor, but this bacon is zero grams of carbs. Now for an extra kick, if you like a lot of flavor, in here I've just mixed garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, to create kind of a little bit of a seasoning. And then Marcel likes his a little bit more spicy, so I do put a little kick of paprika in his. This is so easy. This is one of my favorite recipes because it is so easy. So you take your sausage, and then you take your bacon, one strip of bacon, I find, is more than enough. And you literally will wrap your bacon starting at the top end. And you want a little bit of overlap here. Do you see? I'm going to overlap a bit of that. will hold it together. And then you just keep wrapping down. Now, these sausages look to be a little bit bigger than the ones I normally get. So one piece of bacon is not going to go all the way around. So I'll just spread them a little bit further down so that it's still kind of covering the whole sausage. So it just looks like that when it's done. And I'm just gonna put it on the plate. I'm gonna go ahead and make a few more so you guys can see. Make sure you get that first little bit of overwrap there just because that will keep the bacon part on. So now when you come to one that you wanna add a little bit of that extra spice or seasoning to, um, remember that spices do have carbs. So the spice mix that I use generally has about two grams of carbs for a tablespoon. And so I'm not gonna put any on mine today, but on Marcel's, which is this one, the bacon is actually really good for holding flavor. So I always put the stuff on top of there, and then that will be one of Marcel's ones. It has a little bit of that added flavor. Now you can bake these in the oven. Um, we prefer to barbecue ours. We just like to use our barbecue as much as physically possible in the summer. It keeps the house from getting hotter than it needs to be. So you want to always preheat your um, barbecue before you start wrapping these because that will give you more than enough time. So I'm going to finish off the last of these. Normally Paxton or Logan will help me cook this, but he got um, some seasoning in his eye earlier, so Marcel's giving him a bath. So I think I have all of my sausages ready. Now there's always a little bit of leftover bacon in my house, that's never a bad thing, we like bacon. So I just go ahead and I wrap it in a little Ziploc container and I'll use it for a breakfast or another dinner depending on what I'm making. This part is done, as you can see, they're all wrapped. So I'm gonna go out and throw them on the barbecue and then um, once they're done on the barbecue, I will show you guys my little secret because there is one more step to these. So very few ingredients, but a couple different steps to get them to be the exact consistency that you want. So those are on the barbecue. Now here's a couple tips for you guys. I suggest extremely, extremely low heat. Because the bacon has a lot of fat on it, if you cook it at too high of a heat, it will like drip down into the barbecue pan and then it creates kind of flames and then they get a little bit charred. So I always keep mine on the lowest heat possible on my barbecue. And I also have a four burner barbecue and I only use two of the burners and I use like two opposite of each other and leave one in the middle off. And then I try and spread them out. So the heat distributes evenly, but they're not getting like any tons of direct heat, if that makes sense. All right, so as these are cooking, you wanna use tongs 
to turn them on the barbecue. You don't want to use a flipper. If you use a flipper, you're going to mess up the bacon on it. It's going to start to come unraveled. So I just use tongs and I squeeze them right in the middle and then I roll them over. You want to cook these for about 16 minutes on very low heat, 16 to 20, depending on the sausages that you're cooking on very low heat. Now, if you like your bacon to be less crispy, that's fine, you can eat it right from there. If you like your bacon to be more crispy, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I pulled the first five, one, two, three, four, five off the barbecue, and as you can see, the bacon on these isn't as crispy, it's more kind of just cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in a frying pan right onto the stove on about medium heat with a lid, and I'm just not gonna add anything else to this. The bacon fat will already cook this in it, See, so there you can see it. That's not exactly the best lighting, but there you can see it. It's cooking on the barbecue or on the oven. It's on medium heat, and I'm just gonna let it cook for about five more minutes on in the frying pan. So there is the completed sausages wrapped, and then these ones actually turned out really nice, and then I crisped up the bacon on the top ones there, but that is the finished product. So I'm gonna go ahead and dish these for the boys. I hope you guys enjoyed our first cooking video. It was really fun to do this. I didn't know if I was gonna love it or not. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any recipes you want me to try, please let me know down below. Me and my family would love to do that for you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.